Answering machine detection, or AMD for short, is an integral feature of any dialing system. It can be used to screen outbound calls by determining if a call is answered by a human or a machine, like an answering machine or a voicemail system. It can help businesses save time and resources by only transferring to a human when a human answers the phone or automatically leaving a tailored voicemail. Answering machine detection works a bit like a game of guess who. SignalWire analyzes the audio stream, looking for certain audio patterns, like typical human behavior answering a call, silence, or a beep, as well as the duration and frequency of those patterns and returns a result you can use to change your call flow. To make a call with AMD using SignalWire's compatibility API, we use the create a call endpoint. There are several parameters we can adjust to achieve our desired behavior. Let's take a look at each one of them. Machine detection is the switch that enables or disables AMD. By default, it is disabled. And to enable it, we need to set the parameter to either enable or detect machine end. Enable returns as soon as the machine is detected. Detect machine end waits for the end of the machine's message by looking for a beep. Next up is async AMD. Async AMD enables or disables asynchronous AMD. By default, it's disabled, and to enable it, this parameter needs to be set to true. The only difference between synchronous and asynchronous AMD is that synchronous AMD does not run any instructions until it arrives at a result, while asynchronous AMD moves on to the other instructions while it is evaluating call audio, and only then returns a result you can use to change the call flow. Machine Detection Silence Timeout sets how long AMD will wait for initial voice before returning an unknown as a result. By default, it is set to 5,000 milliseconds. Increasing the timeout will give you more detailed AMD results, but it can also result in longer determination times. Machine Detection Speech Threshold sets how long AMD will gather speech before determining if the audio is from a human or a machine. By default, it's set to 2400 milliseconds. One big consideration is that human greetings tend to be shorter than machine ones, so increasing this value too much may result in too many machine results and decreasing it may result in too many human results. Machine detection speech end threshold sets how many milliseconds of silence AMD will look for before considering incoming speech complete. By default, it's set to 1200 milliseconds. Increasing it may delay determination time, and if a human answers, pauses, and speaks again, it may return false machine results. Decreasing it may result in false human results. Machine detection timeout sets how long AMD will wait before timing out. By default, it is set to 30 seconds. You may want to increase this value if using detect message end to account for longer voicemail greetings. If using enable, however, lowering this value will result in faster detection times. Machine words threshold sets how many words are counted before returning a machine result. By default, it is set to six words. If more words are detected, AMD will interpret them as coming from a machine. So as a result, increasing this value may reduce the false machine returns if there is a longer human greeting. Decreasing it may reduce false human returns because Usually, even a short machine message will use more words than a human would. Since all of these attributes directly affect AMD's results, we recommend using the default values as a starting point and conducting some tests to arrive at a setup that works best for your use case. Let's look at AMD implementation using Compatibility API's Node SDK. We start out by importing Express and SignalWire's REST client so we can build a server that returns XML instructions. We instantiate a new REST client with our SignalWire credentials and then use it to create a call. We instruct SignalWire to call from one number to another using answering machine detection. Since we want to be able to leave a message after a beep when a call goes to voicemail, we set the machine detection parameter to detect message end and adjust AMD's timeout to 45 seconds because some users have a long voicemail message. A call will be made using SignalWire's REST API, and the URL we select will receive the machine detection result from SignalWire. In this case, we tell SignalWire to send the results to this server. So let's look at the route we expose to process the result. The default route receives some JSON data, 
And by looking at answered by, we know if it was a human or a machine that answered the phone. Depending on who answered the phone, we prepare and return different XML instructions. For more SignalWire in Seconds videos, be sure to hit subscribe.